Hey everybody, good morning. Sports live in the ATL. Sport, sports slick live in the ATL. I don't call myself slick. I mean, you don't dress like this with this busting ass leather jacket and not look fly. That would be me. The hair on point, the glasses on point, the shave, the beard, the teeth, everything is on point. The jacket's on point. And I smell good too. Word, if you want to know some words of wisdom, put on some bod spray, man. Chicks love it. Women love it. Like, comment, subscribe, cash app, dollar sign, hiving. Now, I'm going to, now this video right here, I'm waiting on Wolf Solidified uh, to do a reply to my video. Everybody go support and subscribe to Wolf Solidified. I've, I was the first one to find this dude when he had 10, 20 subs or whatever. Wolf, I found you. I am your father. Well, older brother. But I found you. I found this cat, and you guys are going to love the content that Wolf Solidified brings. He brings comedic skits. He brings passion. He brings realism. He's realistic. Except for one thing. Go check out the uh, video I did uh, last night and go check out his stream. But I got a lot of respect and love for Wolf Solidified. Go, go support this guy. And Wolf, if you ever want to do a live stream again, we will do it on my channel, sir. Because all of your supporters do not support my channel, so I am not going to entertain them. I entertain people who entertain me. I support people who support me. So you want to you want to debate this live? We'll set up a time and a place. High noon. Guns a blazing. Not really guns a blazing. Mouse a blazing, and we'll do it on my channel. I've already done it on yours. And I see where it got me. So you let me know, sir. Now moving on. The Atlanta Falcons defense is trash and toilet paper. We can say all we want about the play call. We can say all we want about Arthur Smith, about Arthur Blank, about this and that. But the defense is trash and toilet paper. Okay, I have never seen a defense, once again, as in years past, hyped up to do something. I mean, the Falcons defense did good early because the teams hadn't figured them out. Once these NFL teams figured out that these guys can't fucking tackle, they can't sack the quarterback, they got no pressure at the line of scrimmage, you know, this is the result. We deserve to be four and six. We don't deserve to be any better because we haven't beat these terrible teams. And I would pretty much bet, with an exception of Dobbs maybe, still continuing a little bit, every team that we've lost to, Sam Howell, uh, Will Levi, uh, soon to be probably Kyler Murray, or losing. And I said something about be careful, it could get worse. We just lost to a 1-8 and eight team. We might play another one-win team later in the year in our division in Carolina. Yep. So it could get fucking worse. But the reason why I say this team is trash is because nobody on his defense has any drive, any passion, any strength to make plays. Calais Campbell, you suck, dude. People say, oh, well, he's getting older. We can't expect, expect much from him. Okay, maybe not expect three, four sacks, but on a last drive to win a fucking ball game, a guy that won, uh, won with the Ravens should be able to make one fucking play on third down, one key sack to give us all the momentum and finish off a win. Nope, he's nowhere to be found. He's just running up and down the field doing cardio, like Richie Grant, A.J. Terrell, uh, Lorenzo Carter, Caden Ellis. These guys can make plays at times in the first, second, and third quarter, but they are trash in the fourth and when it matters most. And the funny thing is, again, I don't know if y'all realize it. I said this before. When the Falcons are losing by a couple or tied, the defense make plays. When we score late, have a chance to win with a couple minutes left, the defense folds like a cheap blanket. It's almost like when we have the lead, they get scared. This is what we're paying him for. This is what we brought him and them here for. This is what we brought with the experience of David Onyemata and Calais Campbell. We brought them in here to make plays to win in the clutch. Like they did with the Saints and the Ravens. No, nah, put on a Falcon uniform, you can't do shit. You got A.J. Terrell who thinks he's the shit. No, he is shit. He's trash. Richie Grant is trash. Caden L is mediocre at best. Where is he in the clutch? He's trash. And all these are guys that Arthur Smith and Terry Fontenot picked. That's the shameful part of it. 
And when I say they're soft like toilet paper, because they get pushed around at the line of scrimmage by anybody. When a tight end who's not that good runs a free, run Forrest! They're on the right side. They're on the left side. They're bouncing off like ping pong balls. I mean, that Richie Grant, I think that was Richie Grant who almost had Kyler Murray in the grass. Just, Kyler Murray said, boop, just bopped him off like a, just get the hell off of me. I mean, this defense is terrible, is atrocious. I don't care. I mean, the sack numbers aren't really, I mean, they're slightly up, but, you know, it doesn't matter. It's not doing much, and the, and the numbers are up slightly at best. I'd rather get sacks on the last drive of a game to win a game than get sacks in the first, second, and third quarter and still lose. Sacks are great, but it's when you get the sacks. Yeah, Landman got a nice sack, blah, 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 a couple play drives prior. Okay, where was that on the last drive, sir? I mean, we got a bunch of trash and toilet paper on our team. My God, man. Uh, so that's pretty much all I had to say. I'm glad that uh, just like VicTube, shout out to VicTube, uh, we don't have to suffer and stress this week. We're just waiting on the X. We're waiting on our, no our notifications to hear the firing of Arthur Smith. And Arthur Blaine, has a nub according to reports, said they're not going to fire Smith. They got faith in this guy. No wonder we suck. No wonder we can't win shit. No wonder since the last five years, soon to be six, maybe we're going to miss the playoffs and be under 500. No wonder. And also, let this sink in, guys. Our head coach, first name is Arthur. Our owner name is Arthur. Our head coach's father owned a retail business in FedEx. Arthur Blank is the founder of Home Depot. Let that sink in. So don't own, don't own a retail business and expect to win in the NFL. And we also have this weird fascination with the last name Smith. Mike Smith, Arthur Smith, right? They don't win. Maybe we should try hiring a coach called Vladimir Egensteingen or Johannes Rottenberg. We get common names, we lose. I mean, how many Belichicks are out there? How many Reeds are out there? Unfucking believable, man. Like, comment, subscribe, cash app, dollar sign, hiving, and I'll see you when I see you again. Ooh.